Hello everyone, my name is Anya Kuba and I'm a professional software developer and YouTuber who loves to teach curious minds all things tech. Today, I will be teaching you how to use Anima in order to seamlessly transform your team's Sketch, Adobe XD or Figma designs into HTML or React code in minutes. Anima is a collaboration tool for designers and developers where designers can create code-based high-fidelity prototypes and share it with developers, which in turn can translate it into React or HTML in minutes. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Okay, so here we have our design. It is a prototype that's been built in Adobe XD. It is simply the platform that I've chosen for today. However, as mentioned, Anima is compatible with Figma and Sketch as well. We now need to head over to the Anima platform itself to get this design loaded into it with one swift click. So this is what your platform will look like as someone who is new to it. I'm just gonna go ahead and click plugins. Now, you will see a clear call to action to download your plugin of choice. As you know, I am using Adobe XD, so I will go ahead and click on this one right here. Once we confirm that this is the plugin we want to install onto Adobe XD, a green confirmation box will appear at the bottom of our screens. The installation process for Anima is now done. Now let's head back to our Adobe XD platform so we can navigate the plugin. Once we are back on the platform, let's head back to our project. Under the plugins here, you will need to find Anima. As I only have Anima installed, it is easy for us to find. I will now need to click on the login button beneath the app name in order to log into the Anima app. Now let's preview our project in our browsers first. For this, I will need to click here in the bottom left hand side to preview the project. Once I have clicked the button after filling out all the forms, the Anima app starts to generate the prototype code from our design. It is getting all the design elements we saw in the previous platform and generating them into HTML, CSS and React code for us to use. Now, once that is done, if we look on the top here, we can also select if we want to view the project as a responsive site, a desktop version, a tablet, or a mobile. I'm just going to keep it as responsive for now. Now, the next step will be to sync my project. I will do so by navigating to the top right corner of my screen. Once that has been generated, we will have a selection of design pieces to choose from. You will see, once again, a mobile version, a desktop version, a tablet version, as well as components from each of those two. So in this video, we learn how to get started by signing up to Anima and importing static designs into the platform. Next up, let's talk a little bit about how we get that code. 